Come out wherever you are. Oh man, where could my polywog pal be anyway? Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about old play games and today we're gonna be playing Sonic Adventure. Last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and ended off Amy's story, and in this episode. We're starting Big Story, the most infamous part of this game, because his story is all about fishing. And interesting thing is he has the most upgrades out of everyone. He has six upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. Our first one is over here. The Lure Power Up. There's going to be four of these, and then there's two other normal ones. Maybe there's three of them. Uh, one interesting thing that you might notice is if we look over here, we have Sonic and Tails. Eggman. <laughs> he just says Eggman. So yeah, they're right at the very beginning of their stories, and now we're just going to begin our story in a very strange place. We want to make our way over to this side of Station Square. Doggy, there you are. Wait, don't run away. What you doing under that car? What's wrong? So, you might be asking, how do we get under this car? We can't do that with with any other character. Well, Big is so freaking powerful that he could just lift up the car. And now we're in the sewers. Instead of going up there, since we can't, since we're big, both... I, that works both ways. We're, we can't go up there because we're big, because we have... We don't, we can't jump well, but we also can't go up there because we're big, as in, you know, our character is very big. We just want to go back here and platform our way up, and interestingly, this part leads all the way over to Twinkle Park. I don't know why the sewers is so easily accept accessible to the customers of Twinkle Park, but I don't think about it too much. Welcome to Welcome Stage to New- Park. I forgot that there's an extra part we have to go through. Welcome to Stage 1, Twinkle Park. So now we just have to fish for Froggy, and I'll teach you how to do it properly, because they don't do very well at explaining. First you have to find Froggy, it usually spawns over here. But next you want to throw your line in front of him. And if you can't seem to get him to, fo to follow your line, you might want to reel it in a bit and maybe move it around with your control stick. The control stick controls are weird, but once he actually catches it, you want to hold A 
and then starts and at the same time starts spinning the control stick rapidly. Then you want to make sure that that meter in the bottom right corner is always in the center. You don't want it to get too high because then your line will snap, but you don't want it to get too low because then Froggy will get away with the bait. I'll go silent for a little bit so that I just make sure that I don't accidentally mess this up. There we go. Once you catch Froggy, the level is all done. Funnily enough, this section was supposed to be relaxing and a break, but this segment is incredibly stressful. Story, I meant. Welcome to Twinkle Park. So once you get out of there, we want to exit Twinkle Park. And over here, this is quite in the weird spot. This is the ice stone that allows you to open up ice cap. If I was right about my theory uh, at, that I proposed during Knuckles' story, the train then the Big the Cat brings the ice stone here, and then Eggman steals it, because this is around the time that Sonic and Tails should be finishing up the Egg Hornet fight. But maybe my theory is wrong, and it's just weird. I wonder if we can find anything over by Tails' workshop. I'll cut it out if there's nothing to find. Oh hey, there's Knuckles over there. I'm gonna leave that right there for a sec. Didn't I see a green colored stone somewhere? Okay, so my theory is probably wrong because this is at the same time as when Sonic is in Ice Cap, maybe? Wait. I don't know. Might have to toss my theory out the window because it might not be right. But anyways, you want to do with this, with this stone what you normally do. And you want to head over to the entrance to Ice Cap and open it on up. key starts floating. I thought that since Big was dropping it so slow, for some reason I thought that I was doing something wrong and that the stone might clip out of bounds. Second upgrade. There are a couple others that I need to grab in a second, but I'll get those. You've discovered the life belt. It keeps you afloat when you're in water. To swim underwater, press the jump button when afloat. <laughs> So yeah, now when we go into water, we float, and if you hold down A, or... Yeah, if you hold down A, then you sink right to the bottom. Now, something that I want to grab before we head into Ice Cap is... You know what, this might reset our progress with the Ice Stone. I hope it doesn't, but it might. We want to head back here. You should probably get this before... Uh, going into the ice cap section. We want to head back over to the forest where Big's house is. Because we saw Big's house at the very beginning. Also a neat little detail is we see a little uh, twinkle in the sky. And I think that's supposed to be Angel Island as it's being attacked by Chaos. So we want to go over here, because over here is where Big's house is. It's somewhere in this vicinity. And also, somewhere in this area is a secret cave. It's not this thing over here where the water is going, that's completely different. This cave that I'm talking about is more well hidden. That guy just phases through that tree branch. Anyways, our next upgrade is over here. We saw it in the opening cutscene, 
It's underneath Big's bed. Like we saw before, he's incredibly strong. It's the power rod. You now have longer casting distance. Hooray! That actually is great because you know, now we can cast it longer distances. Now, where's the entrance to the cave that I'm talking about? Oh, maybe over here? Yep, it'll have this sort of entrance by it. So, it's just... If you're... If you're looking at... Uh, how do I describe this? If you're looking at where Robotnik's base is, it's... If Robotnik's base is to the north, then this cave is to the north of... If Robotnik's base is to the north, then this cave is to the north of Big's bed. Anyways, this is pretty much every power-up we can get at this point. At least I believe so. Yeah, we got the two in the forest, the one in the ice cavern, and then the one that's over in the sewers. And so now there's just two left in Big Story. Then we should be good. Holy crap, Big climbs this ladder incredibly fast. I forgot about that. Okay, thankfully the whole ice cap thing didn't get reset. Now you just gotta make your way across here. I don't know why I was holding it. But then climb up the ladder at supersonic speeds. Now we're in ice cap. And correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the only stage ever in the game. At least in this game, of course. Where you can find an upgrade inside of a level. At least I'm pretty sure. I know that in Sonic Adventure 2, that's on, that's the only place where the power-ups are. Because that's the only place where they can be. But it, at least in this game, I'm pretty sure this is the only time that a power-up is inside of a level itself instead of in the hub world. Adventure stages, that's what I'm thinking of. Anyways, you want to get to the top over here, I just forgot to talk for a little while. You want to take this rock and then chuck it into the ice over there. Look at the physics on that thing. Then you want to hop into this water, and at the bottom will be... Our fifth upgrade, a lure power-up. There's only one power-up left, and I think it's another lure power-up. Okay, just don't hold the control stick when you're trying to bounce off of the spring. Let's see. Now you want to find this entrance over here at the very bottom. You want to take this rock. And there should be somewhere around here that looks like the entrance. Right here. There's this little hole over here, which leads to another entirely different area that we haven't seen in Ice Cap yet. Oh. Okay, there we go. That's something that I don't even think we've talked about yet, is the drowning jingle. Whenever in a Sonic game you're in water for long enough, you start to drown, and it plays one of the most stressful themes in all of gaming. As you slowly count down your last couple seconds of life. <laughs> I don't know if that was even phrased properly, but back to fishing. <laughs> see. No, I don't want you. I don't want you. There's Froggy. No. Fish, get away. One time you don't want fi fish in a fishing minigame. Not really minigame. Does this count as a minigame? This is just a normal 
became a normal part of a story. Froggy, get over here. Okay, now he's going after it. Ah, gosh dang it. Sometimes he just doesn't get a load of... doesn't... Ah. Sometimes he just decides not to get caught. Maybe if he's closer to the top. Yeah, maybe maybe if he's closer to the top, then he'll actually decide to go along with it. Hey, that was even quicker than the uh, last one. At least in terms of how long it took for Froggy to get to the top. I don't know if it's actually quicker than the entire Twinkle Park level we did, because we had to do some extra stuff in this level. Okay, here's one part of the game that's a bit tough, is that it's getting big out of the water. Okay, there we go. I think you just have to hold forward. Now what you want to do is you want to head to where Sonic and Knuckles fought. Here's an interesting thing. I think that's technically the that's the first time that we've actually seen that Froggy is getting away from us. Because before they just didn't mention it. Froggy keeps we keep catching him and he keeps getting away from Big cuz I don't know, he just keeps he's just got butterfingers, I guess. Now I like to imagine that Froggy gets on the train and takes it all the way to Station Square and just nobody really notices. Oh, hey, here's Sonic. That robot. I better go after Amy. So yeah, this is around the time that Amy got kidnapped. You know what would be funny, and I've probably already done this, because, uh, you know, you're seeing if this is just in one part or whatever. It'd be funny if I did Big's entire story in one long episode, because he's the most infamous character. You know what, I think I'll probably do that. Welcome to Emerald Coast, Stage 3. We start all the way over here. And Froggy is pretty close by, he's just right over here. You have to toss your toss your fishing pole. And then just gotta do a lot of waiting. Nope, I don't want a hammerhead shark. Okay. Where is Frog? Guess I gotta get a bit closer. Okay, there he is. 
Okay, Froggy, over here. Froggy. I don't know why I'm talking to him as if that would make it easier. Okay, I'll scoot back a bit so that I can reel in the line, but, you know, also still be close. Come on, Froggy. Okay, he's got his attention. Okay, now he's on. It's pretty much just pressing A and holding it a tiny bit occasionally. You should be able to keep the bar in the center. And we got him! Not too bad. No, hold on there. Come back, please. Give me my friend back. I'm begging you, please. Doesn't look familiar to me at all. Mm, smells like Froggy's around somewhere. Think I'll see what's behind this door. So an interesting thing about what I mentioned earlier about making this all one long episode is Big Story is so short that I only have this level left and then the boss fight and then I'm done with the story. So this might not even be that long of an episode. Maybe depending on how long it takes to do this level, 10 minutes longer than it, than it usually is. But you want to not actually go into the level first, you want to head in here because there's our final upgrade. The lure power. I don't think you really need the lure power up because it's only to catch bigger fish and get a higher score, which I don't really care about when it comes to this. But, you know what? It still feels more complete when I get all of them. So welcome to our last level, the Hot Shelter. This is some pretty epic music for some fishing. I don't remember exactly how long it is until we get to the actual fishing portion, but it's probably not too long, right? At least I think so. Normally it's just put us practically in front of where we're supposed to be. Also, I love getting the speed shoes as big just because he moves incredibly fast. Oh, here's the fishing portion. So now you want to jump into the center here, and you get a cutscene. Ah, oh, thanks, Froggy. Looks like you need my help. I think that's the only time you ever get a cutscene in the middle of a level. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments. You want to drain out all the water. And oh, we have Froggy over there. Come on. Wrong way. When you hit left, it goes right, and when you hit right, it goes left. It's weird, but I guess that's just how it works. Unless it's facing towards, the camera's facing towards big, then it goes in the actual correct direction. I think the strategy here is just to cast as far as you can and then slowly reel in so you can get Froggy's attention. 
wrong direction. There's Froggy. Okay, and we got it. We got a hit. Now I just keep pressing A. Make sure it doesn't accidentally go over the top. And that's our final big level. Not too bad. Yeah. We're together again at last, huh? That's strange. Where am I, Froggy? Wow. Is it all right for me to be here? So do you trust me? So these are the seven emeralds. by one that is the controller the seven chaos the controller itself could this be the emerald that controls the seven chaos Froggy, I don't like the looks of this place. If something happens now, there's no point to my rescuing you. I don't know who would bother to save us both. We better get going, buddy! Emergency alert has been canceled. Resuming monorail operations. So now that we just went through that, uh, we can travel to the top of the egg carrier in style. Instead of taking the normal flying thing up there, we're going to take this monorail, I think it's called. This flying train thing. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, you all you have to do is stand on this moving platform, and over there is the tornado too, by the way. And you have to boing your way up here.
frog. The frog is possessed by your tail. Once you get your tail, you'll be complete and ultra strong. Unbelievable! Look what happened! Chaos has transformed again! Huh? <laughs> Uh-oh! Gotta go! Froggy? I'll save you! Don't worry, Pally! So, he's your friend, eh? No sweat! I'll get him back! Watch me! Careful, Froggy. Don't worry. We'll get you back. So now we know why Chaos and Froggy are linked because Froggy ate a part of Chaos. Also, a thing to note is that I love the shots of Big during the cutscene just freaking out while everything is going on. Also, there were lines that were scrapped where it, it suggested that originally Sonic was supposed to distract Chaos while you went in to catch Froggy. Also, this is the easiest boss fight in the game. Why am I having such trouble with this? There we go. You just need to throw your line at Froggy and you win the boss fight. It's pretty easy. I don't know why I was struggling with it so much. Hooray! Froggy! <laughs> I won't let them take you away again. Go! Go on and get out of here! I'll do the rest! Oh, okay. Thanks. Come, little buddy. Time to get a move on. That was big story. That certainly was a ride, but we got it done in one episode. I'm sorry if the commentary started to degrade at the end in the past in within the past couple of episodes because I I'll just give you guys a little behind the scenes. I always record these videos in bulk 
so I record five episodes at a time, and then I edit those videos, and then release them on Monday through Friday, and then, you know, I do all the shorts and stuff. But this was the final episode of my recording session, and this is probably the, one of the longest recording sessions I have done so far. It's currently been two and a half hours. So, I'm probably going to go eat something, take a nap, and then, yeah, see ya.